Now there may be times when you want to adjust the columns of the rows because not everything is fitting in the way you would like to see it or it doesn't look as pleasing. For example, in the column F, when I click on the column header F, you can see it covers commission also April, but maybe I want to stretch it to include commission. Well, to stretch these columns, either collapse them or expand them, you can just hover your pointer over and you can click off in a blank area. You don't have to select the column, so I'll click off. You can just hover over in between the lines of the columns or the column separator of the column headers. When you hover over it and you get it right, your arrow is going to turn into a line with those arrows pointing out. You see that? The moment you get that, you can click and hold the left mouse button down and you see a little pop-up that says the column width. It's always to the left. The column width is going to be always, always to the left here, so you want to click after it. That column width is 10 or 75 pixels. So if I click and drag to stretch it, there goes column F. And you can see now it fits commission, but the problem is, is it expands and it moves the numbers over to the right, and it's not looking really good. In Excel, text is always lined to the left by default and numbers to the right. In any case, if I don't like it, I can click and drag and stretch it back. Now, what if I want columns to be the exact same size as the other ones? For example, like maybe March. It wouldn't make sense to do it for February because, you know, if I click and drag that, the text doesn't fit. So what I'll do is I'll click and stretch it, or if stretching it so it fits the longest text in the column works for you, then what you can do is you can do a shortcut by instead of trying to eyeball it by clicking and dragging going, let's see, I think that's the longest. Instead, let me shrink it up. I can double click really fast in between the column headers D and E. Make sure you got that line. Make sure that your arrow turns into that line. Double click really fast and it does what's called an auto fit. It automatically fits the longest text or cell within the column. That's one way of doing it. I can click and drag and another way of doing it is you can click on the column header D and then come up to the format cells and come down and say I want to do an auto fit for the column width. I mean that takes a little bit too long. For me I'd rather just come up here in between the columns and double click really fast to automatically fit it. In any case if I wanted to make sure that this column exactly matched the same column as that one again you can click and drag and you can see column D it's always to the left of what I have clicked here or I'm selecting by clicking in between the column headers so it's 8.57 I can come over here and click in between these two headers and drag it back to 8.57 oh see it gets a little bit tough what I can do instead is just leave it the way it is and you can either do it visually by clicking and dragging or if you want to get more specific you can do it numerically or by typing in the numbers yourself. To do so you want to right click on the column header, in this case F, come down here and left click on column width. Brings up a little box and I can go ahead and type in 9.57, hit enter and kind of collapses just a little bit, not much of a change. But nonetheless you can change it numerically or you can click and drag and eyeball it. Another way of doing it is again from the cells group, clicking on the format arrow and then doing your column width, clicking on that, you get the pop-up as well. So. I'm going to click cancel, but again, it's easier for me to right click and do it within the shortcut menu here than to come up here to the cells group because my arm has to stretch all the way over there. Anyways, never mind. We'll come over here and we'll click on the row header and you can also click and stretch these rows, right? When I stretch it far enough, I mean I can click and drag it up, just the same as the columns. No different. You can right click and come down and left click on row height, make the change, type in 12.75 and hit enter. Looks good. Of course, when you stretch it out far enough, you can see right now it looks like the numbers are all aligned to the left by default. Like I said, that's the default for Excel. And if I want to go ahead and center them vertically and align them horizontally towards the center, all I have to do is click and drag and select the range and then come up here in my alignment group. And you can see it's aligned to the bottom. That's in orange. But I want to do it in the middle. So it pops them up in the middle. But I also want to align them horizontally in the center. So I come back up in here and do my horizontal center click off in a blank area. It looks okay, but because it doesn't look good in this example, I'm going to go ahead and undo it, but at least you know how to do it. Click undo a couple of times. Before I go, I'll give you a little teaser. It's about the format uh, painter brush. Basically, it can take the formatting of one column or one cell and be able to apply it quickly to the other columns. So remember how I was saying, look, I want all the columns to be the same width. Well, if I like the width of this column and I want it to be the same across, well, let me pick the largest column. I think it's this one. I can go ahead and click on the column, come up here in the clipboard group, and click on the format painter. So I got the marching ants. And then I can just go ahead and click in another column here. Or let me click on column H. And automatically takes that same formatting from this column and applies it to that one. And in this case, the formatting was just the width. If there was more formatting that included that this was in blue, bold, or things like that, it would also apply that there as well. Format painters cover in more in depth in uh, Word, but for right here, all you have to do is just select a cell that you want to copy the formatting from. So if I put in bold, I color it red, and maybe a color here, and I want to take this formatting and apply it to all the rest, then just go ahead and select the cell, click on it once, and click in another cell, and it copies that format. If I select that cell again, and I 
double click really fast that means I can keep clicking in other cells forever until I actually you see that little white cross that has that paintbrush there it's gonna be up there until I actually come up here and click on the button again to remove it or deselect it or again just hit escape on the keyboard and it gets rid of it for you hey thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.